Hey, and welcome back to the channel. First, before we even begin, May 7th, there was an update by Raven. They posted it on their website, and now it's no longer available. And now on May 19th, just a couple of days ago, they announced another rollout. Uh, these patches were listed on their website. I took a screen capture this time, but it doesn't look like anything officially out right now is gonna help crashing PCs. So to recap, you can take a look at these two videos for previous methods that I've done. Some users have had success with these ones. Also, I have these videos as well uh, for other related issues. <laughs> Warzone's been keeping me pretty busy with all the bugs lately. I know you guys have been patiently waiting. I've been looking everywhere. So I went back on Reddit, Discord, everywhere else. Um, I have a couple of updates. I I, I really want to help you guys. I Like my system, I, I don't even want to say this because there might be some hate on this, but my system's working right now. It's, it's stupid because I have another computer that's not working at all. So forget about all this talk. Let's just get to those fixes. Okay, before we begin, let's just take a look at minimum specs because I don't want to make any assumptions based on the comments of the last couple of videos. So you want to make sure you have at least an Intel Core i3-4340 or an AMD FX-6300, a graphics card, which is the NVIDIA GTX-1650, or the HD 7950 Radeon. A memory at least eight gigs of RAM and at least 90 gigs of storage space because the game is huge. Now, the recommended specs, this is what you actually wanna have at least on your computer. It's gonna be at least a Intel Core i5-2500K or an AMD 1600X. Now your NVIDIA GTX, which I have 1660 graphics card, or an RX 580, and then the memory you want at least 12 gigs of RAM and 150 gigs or greater in space. Now these are recommended. Again, it may not work perfectly. These are just definite specs just to get the game running. So the trend right now is users are reinstalling Windows. So before you go that far, how about trying a couple more solutions out that could actually help you. So before you begin any of these methods, you wanna make sure that your Windows is completely up to date your graphics card is up to date and you've done a scan and repair with the Battle.net app. And the first option is to update the BIOS. So I wanna warn you that if you do not download the correct driver for your BIOS, you could brick your system and that's a whole other mess. So make sure that you know the manufacturer and you know the, the type of motherboard you have before proceeding and proceed with caution. To get started, you need to know the model of your motherboard. And the quickest way to do that is by going to your command prompt. So you click on the start search at the bottom, type in CMD, the command prompt will open. You can enter in this command, hit enter, and then you get your product number, which is your model number. And that is what you're gonna to wanna to Google search and find out what BIOS you're actually using in your system. Now there's gonna be a link in the description below for this command and another method that you can use to find out your model number, uh, depending on the version of Windows that you're using. So that might be useful. So now you know the model of your PC. So mine's a Dell Gaming G5 PC. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Google, I'm gonna type in Dell support, then click on the downloads and driver section. And then I'm gonna go over to the identify your PC. So I'm just gonna scroll down to browse all products and then I'm gonna click on desktops. And then I know I have the G series and mine is the 5000. So I'm gonna click on this. So in here I can just scroll down and under the keyword, I'm gonna type in BIOS and I'm using Windows 10 64 bit, so that's fine. The category I'm gonna leave as all, format as all, and then hit enter and I'll have my results down here at the bottom. So I'll scroll down here to the bottom and then here it is, it's the first one in here. Uh, it says urgent and that's the last date. So you can compare the version that you have and making sure you're downloading the most recent version, click on download, then you can just go over to your downloads folder and then install the firmware update. And for the next option, we have a complete uninstall of the game. Now you know that we're grasping at strings right now if this is our options. So we're gonna first go over to the File Explorer, go into our Documents folder, and then look for the Call of Duty Modern Warfare or anything related to the game, the folder in here, which contains all the player files and configuration files. You wanna right click on it, delete it, or shift delete, and then empty the recycling bin to make sure it's completely gone. And then you can close out of this window, click on start, and then go over to settings. And then inside apps, you're gonna be looking for the Battle.net app, here it is. And you uninstall that. And you also wanna find the Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and you're gonna uninstall this. Now, I don't think it really matters the order that you uninstall it in. I un uninstalled the game before I installed the app, just because that's the order I, in I installed it in. So that might be the best way to uninstall it. 
yeah, so you're going to uninstall the game and then you're going to reinstall it. So reinstalling it involves you downloading the whole thing all over again. So if you have a slower bandwidth connection, 100 gigs is going to take a while to download. So be prepared for that. So this is just another solution. Uh, Windows 7 users, if you're out there, let me know if anything's helped you. Um, most of these fixes have helped Windows 10 users, but I haven't seen a lot of Windows 7 players. And I know there are quite a few out there having similar problems. Before you reinstall Windows, so if all this stuff doesn't work and you're going to reinstall Windows, which... Yeah, I mean, like, is the game really worth it? I guess for some people it is. And I mean, we're all in lockdown right now anyways. So if you're going to reinstall Windows, check out these two videos. The first one had a lot of success with people increasing the page filing system size on their system. Uh, that's what that's about. The second video is deleting configuration files. It helps some people. So maybe you want to check these out before you go down that path. Anyways, good luck, guys. I hope this helps somebody. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.